Hi, in this video, I will be reviewing the Vivo Tracker 2 FG hiking boots for women. If you are interested in a review of the men's shoes, I will put a link to that video in the description box down below. So make sure to check that out. Um, I will be um, sharing my first impressions on the boot and um, talking a little bit about the materials and the fit and feel for me. Um, hopefully this video is helpful to you if you are um, considering buying these boots. Um, so let's get into it. This is my first pair of Vivo shoes. Um, usually when I go hiking, I will use my Nike Free Runs um, because they're the most flexible shoe that I have. So knee pain is very common for me uh, if I have shoes that are not very flexible. Um, so that is why I want to try these shoes out. A little bit about these shoes, uh, Vivo claims that they are 100% waterproof. I have yet to test that feature out, so I will make sure to um, give an update after I do take these boots on a hike in a couple weeks, um, so be on the lookout for an update video. These boots are very flexible, they seem very, very comfortable, um, they have a bit of a sturdier sole compared to some of their other shoes um, and that is for you know protection um, in the ter different terrains. The boots are made of uh, genuine leather um, so these are intended to last for a very long time. They're by far the lightest um, boots I have ever tried on. Although they are very flexible they do offer um, a pretty sturdy ankle support um, as I was walking through them testing them out in my backyard. I didn't feel that I would roll an ankle um, or just not feel supported. So far, it seems like these boots have some pretty good traction. So these boots came with the Outlast Thermal Insole, um, which is supposed to keep your feet warm for up to an hour or even more um, compared to a traditional insole. I was trying these on in my living room with the air conditioning on. Um, after just a couple of minutes, my feet were instantly a lot warmer. Um, so the materials definitely uh, makes a difference. Um, I'm usually in between sizes, I'm usually anywhere between a seven to an eight. Um, usually I'm more of a seven and a half. Um, but based on Vivo's recommendations, I went with an eight. Um, I mean, these shoes are definitely a little bit more roomy. That's kind of the whole purpose, right? Is to give your toes some space to really um, spread out. Um, I felt that they were a little bit um, longer than I, I was expecting, but they don't feel uncomfortable. They still feel um, sturdy and um, I think I'm going to give them a try. If they do end up feeling too big, then I will return these to Vivo and then purchase a size and a half down um, or a half a size down. Um, so Vivo does have free returns, um, which makes you know, figuring out your size a whole lot easier. Some of the reviews for the Vivo uh, Tracker FGs um, mentioned that the shoes were very narrow and difficult to uh, put on. Um, I didn't experience that with the Tracker 2s. Uh, they were pretty easy to put on. When you unlace them, there's plenty of room to um, kind of really open them up so that they're much more comfortable. Um, I really didn't have any issues. I wouldn't say that I have a narrow foot or a wide foot. I'd say I'm, I'm pretty average. Um, so I didn't have any issues with actually putting the shoe on. If you have any questions about the fit, the feel, uh, feel free to comment down below and I'll answer them as best as I can. Um, and as mentioned, we will be doing um, updated videos. Um, so make sure that you are on the lookout for those. Subscribe if you like so that you don't miss them. Thanks.